with this government here, they want to take total control. They don't want people like you and me. They don't want people to be prepped and ready. And they know we're out here. They know that there are a real select few of people because you got to figure out of what 329 million people that live in this country. I'll be generous. 25% are saying they're prepped, they're ready and we're where else. So that leaves you 75% of the population that they can easily control. But it's that 25% that they're worried about. If you're a prepper and you've been putting food away and everything else, that means you're a thinker. You're going back more than likely. You were probably raised this way. You have been taught by your grandparents, by your parents. People that lived in rural areas had to depend on whatever it is that they put in the ground, harvested, canned, and put up so that they had food to eat during the winter because more than likely, if it's a snowstorm, a blizzard, or whatever else, they didn't have a four-wheel drive pickup truck to jump in and run into town. It's either you walked or you took a horse and buggy, which you're probably not gonna do. So you had to make sure that you could withstand being isolated for long periods of time but you had to have food to eat in order to sustain yourself while you had to go through those harsh times in the winter. But the point of it is, these people, they know we're out here and they know that we know they're up to something. Now, we may not have all the answers and depending on what, you know, some of the YouTube channels out here, you know, they, they got some pretty good ideas. I don't know how far I would go as far as believing some of these ideas because some of them out there are really out there. There's so much BS out there. Your brain has to decipher all this different kind of stuff and then it has to turn around and try to figure out, okay, is this real? Is this not real? What is the, what's taking place here? And then you have to turn around and really think about, okay, well, how do I get around this problem? How do I solve this problem? You know, what do I do to be prepared for this problem? Because if you all haven't noticed, every other day they're throwing something else at us. There's something, there's this or that, and, and this is going on, the whole nine yards. So we have to constantly be thinking on our feet. And that's what makes you a good prepper because you have to make sure that you can take the information in, process the information, then turn around have a solution to the information. You see, this is where the government lacks, all right? They can take the information in, they process the information, and it goes blank. If you're a prepper, somebody with a good head on your shoulders, all right, you take the information in, you process it, you come up with a solution. It may take you a little while to think about it. But sometimes if you sit back and you really think about it, you think about it really hard, you're gonna come up with a really good solution in your head. And that, that goes for any type of situation. It doesn't have to be like, you know, the end of the world type situation here. If you've got a problem going on in your life, if you've got a problem that you have to deal with at work, if you've got a problem with whatever, you process in the information, you think about it, and you're gonna come up with a solution. Some way, you will come up with a solution. Our brains are a very intelligent thing, and it can do this, folks. It can handle doing all this sometimes in a matter of seconds. You heard something, process it, boom, boom. You, you, now you got a solution or you got to come back. You see what I'm saying? I mean, that's how fast a lot of our brains think. It's quite amazing. Now there's something else that we all have to really start thinking about too. They're going to be going after seed bolts because if they're already starting to go after the way we can store the food, how long is it before they start going after how we grow the food that we want to store? You see, they want to get it down to where this is what they want. This is how they want it. And this is how it's going to be. They will be a select few of people, like I did say, and I was generous in my numbers. Yes, I do know and I am aware that ever since uh, Charlie Victor 19 came to town, there are a lot more preppers out there than what we did have prior to March of 2020 here in the United States. There's a lot of people that were caught with their pants down, couldn't feed their families, 
couldn't find anything on the shelves and that changed a lot of people. You see, some people do learn from their mistakes and I get a lot of people all the time that comment and everything else on my channel and they always leave these comments and they're just like, well, if people haven't started prepping, then screw them, you know, they're on their own. And I get that. I truly do. I understand where you are coming from. But you see, you have these people that truly do believe that the good old government, the state governments, local governments, Washington, D.C., they're all going to be there. They're all going to make sure that they're taken care of if something majorly happens. And it's not going to happen that way. And a lot of people are starting to wake up to that fact. A lot of people are starting to wake up to the fact that it is in their best interest to make sure that they are prepped and ready. When you are prepped and ready, depending on where you live in this world, you have different scenarios you have to make sure that you're prepped and ready for, correct? And what you have to do is you have to sit back and you really have to think about what it is that you have to have to survive in the area that you are in and how do you meet those requirements and how are you going to afford to do that and how are you going to be able to survive with you and your family what is it you have to do that's why making a plan is so number one having a plan in any type of a situation depending on where you live doesn't matter if you live here if you live in australia if you live in europe if you live in Canada, Mexico, it doesn't matter where you live. We all have different things that we have to make sure that we kind of are prepared for. You see, they're catching on, folks. And now they're realizing that there's a lot more of us than what they originally thought. All these different channels on how to prepare, what to do, how to survive, all these different things making sure that you people out there understand and making sure that you people out there that are watching, you know, have a, the knowledge so that you can be prepared for you and your family, because that's the whole name of the game. I don't care what prepping channel you watch, what YouTube channel you watch or anything else. In the end, whether you agree with whatever is being said by the creator on any of the channels, me included, whether you agree or not, you can take a little bit from this creator and you can take a little bit from that creator and then you can start putting them together. And as long as you come out prepared, that's all that matters. The government is not going to be there to give you a handout and to make sure that you're going to be fine. If the whole system goes down, they couldn't even handle Katrina. You think they're going to handle the whole United States? Think again, folks. Think again.